It's feeding time. This one right here is the uh, the female. That's the male. Um, I can tell them apart because ooh, <laughs> she just caught something to eat. Um, the female has uh, well, she's smaller first of all, so that's kind of easy to pick out. But also, oh, look at that. But uh, <laughs> but the um, the female has kind of like more of a speckled belly with you know individual blotches where the male's belly it looks a little bit more like a trail of lava it's pretty cool it's pretty badass um, yeah I just fed them um, some of these the uh, freeze-dried blood worms they love them I put them in the water and if they're sitting on a log that I have um, on the rock or maybe the um, the dragon they'll jump right into the water and come eat that's why they're coming so close to me now funny thing is uh, some newts or other amphibians <laughs> or you know small critters uh, mostly reptiles and amphibians you know they get a little scared sometimes because you know they're not like dogs where you know they're a little bit more um, you know affectionate and have you know more emotion and you know I guess kind of like a kind of a rude way of putting it but I guess you know as far as their minds are not really all that advanced as far as attachment and such but you know these guys um when I come in the room I guess it's a food response um because they know well I guess they kind of notice the pattern every time I'm in here and you know I put my hands around the the tank or something they usually get fed I don't feed them every day I only feed them a couple times a week but you know they just swim up to the edge of the tank wherever I am in my room you know um, looking for food so that's one thing that's kind of cool also makes them me easy to handle them too like when I go to pick them up they don't run away or anything They've grown a little bit since I first got them I'm not really sure at all how old they are, but my guess is maybe about a year because they were really small. Probably just came off of the uh, stage of being, you know, the little larva with the uh, with the gills and such, because they were in a big group at the pet store. There they are swimming around the dragon. The funny thing is, um, they they camp around the dragon. Um, whenever uh, they want to go to sleep, they uh, lay on its uh, lay on its belly, like right there, or they go under it. So it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. I also feed them these uh, <clears throat> micro wafers. The only thing is, um, they usually eat them when they're floating, but once they sink, the microwave. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, the micro wafers sink below the pebbles. Because before, when I got them, um, I, um, in the small creature keeper I had, you know, one of those little, you know, like $5, not even real tanks, but. It's like a little holding pen. Um, they didn't have any gravel. But with the gravel, these little microwavers, because there's a small pellet, sink to the bottom. And I see them rooting around trying to find them sometimes, but I'm pretty sure that they don't get all of them. And I don't want that to dirty up the water. You know. Plus, if they can't get to them, then they don't get to, they don't get to eat. So, I'm probably going to go to the store. Sometimes we can get a larger pellet. Because I don't want them just eating the uh, freeze-dried blood worms. But I don't want them just eating the... Uh, <clears throat> um, I don't want them to... You know, I want them to have a good uh, variety in their diet. Yeah. Uh, actually, one time I did feed them water snails. Little tiny water snails that I found in, um, in, my, in my pond in the backyard. 
I only gave them to him like twice, and uh, it was crazy. Like I put like ten in there, and the newts uh, were watching me drop them in, and like five minutes later, it, it was like a massacre. There were no survivors. <laughs> The Anus just scarfed them down like they were nothing. Yeah. Yep. Well, that was feeding time.